Good morning. When I first met Olivia Tompkins as my advisee in August 2019, that was right, that was your question. Mm -hmm. I thought I yep. Okay. She presented herself in a way that was a perfect balance of confidence and humility. And throughout the four years, our community has been so fortunate to get to know Olivia, the scholar, the athlete, the friend, the sister, the daughter, the musician, and so many other labels. Olivia is a present day Renaissance woman. And to use a basketball analogy, she earns a triple double in all areas of her life. I had to look that up. What, like really? That, there's five things that constitute a triple double. Okay, I know that now. Don't tell my family. Okay, all that said, Olivia isn't really one for labels. As she talked about in her college essay, labels can box people in. And we are so much more than what our labels say they are. So rather than list all of Olivia's characteristics, I want to share a few quotations that describe Olivia Tompkins. Quote number one, a lot of people notice when you succeed, but they don't see what it takes to get there. And that's Don Staley, all of you know, amazing basketball coach at University of um, South Carolina. Olivia's commitment to excellence is found across most aspects of student life at VES. Not only does Olivia put in the time, the effort, um, to work in her classes, her sports, her relationships. Olivia makes everyone around her feel comfortable and included. And at the same time, she pushes all of us to be the best versions of ourselves and get our personal best. Ultimately, Olivia makes all of us better. Quote two is really song lyrics. Okay. So we've been outnumbered, raided and now cornered. It's hard to fight when the fight ain't over. Okay, I, oh, you don't know. Yeah. Okay, we're getting stronger now. Find things they never found. They might be bigger, but we are faster and never scared. Anyone has ever heard any Taylor Swift song, but really mainly change, or changes, knows Taylor Swift really wrote that song about Olivia Tompkins. <laughs> Olivia demonstrates to all of us to keep pushing forward, whether it's through a very difficult AP Chem class. Shout out, where's Mr. Hanning? Maybe hardest class? Yeah. 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 Or in a basketball game versus the Miller School, Coach Foy. This girl just keeps pushing. She knows things are changing, and she just keeps getting it done. OK, according to Coach Foy, Coach Foy said, I've been so incredibly fortunate to coach Olivia for the past three years. She's one of the hardest working people I have ever met in my life. She plays so many roles here at our school and does it with such grace. It seems that her gas tank is never running on empty and she's always re ready to be a contributor in any situation. She has this amazing view on life where she always sees the cup half full as opposed to half empty. I think she's a truly special, Olivia has a truly special skill and that is this truly special skill to have in today's world. She's a shining light that never seems to go out. So the last quotation comes from my favorite songwriter, Paul Westerberg. If you haven't looked it up, The Replacements, always shout out to The Replacements. Simply he said, stick with your heart and you'll be fine. So Olivia, stick with your heart and you'll be fine. You have a great heart. Thank you, Tompkins parents, for sharing Peyton, Drew, and Olivia with us the past four years. And thank you, Olivia, for sharing your heart with us. Thank you, Mrs. Gazelka, for being my advisor and helping me throughout these four years. Hi, everyone. I'm Olivia Tompkins, and for my talk, I will be telling you all a few stories. Before I start, I need to preface something about me. I am not a crier, and I never have been. And if you don't believe me, I did take AP Chem my junior year, and I never shed a single tear over it. <laughs> I know Mr. Hanning and probably many of his other victims, I mean students, are really shocked right now. But on the rare occasion when I do cry, it truly is all or nothing. Like, I find myself sobbing on my hands and knees. Like, it's, it's just not pretty. <laughs> so these stories are going to be about some of the few times that this has happened to me throughout my high school career. Starting off strong with my freshman year, I decided to ask someone to the infamous Christmas dance. Like some of my fellow counselors, I had quite an unfortunate experience. But I'd become friends with this guy, and my freshman self thought, why not? So one day, I trembled my way down to Pendleton Basement, to ask this guy in person, to which he responded, and Jim, you'll love this, I'll think about it. <laughs> With all my friends anxiously watching me, you can imagine the embarrassment I felt when he told me that he was waiting for someone else to ask him. Yeah, 
I was flabbergasted. And that night when I got home, I broke down sobbing because being rejected and the embarrassment that came with it was like the end of the world for freshman Olivia. The next story occurred last year while I was training for track. In the spring, my dad and I would go to the track on the weekends and run intervals. But one day, I took the phrase blood, sweat, and tears a bit too literally. I was in the midst of running an 800, and I suddenly felt like I was just hit by a brick. My sore legs from the soccer game the day before and the stress of probably an AP Calc test suddenly came over me. I finished the first lap, and right as I crossed the line, I told my dad I can't, and I bawled my eyes out of frustration. I know, it seems dramatic, but it was an out-of-body experience. That has never happened to me before, where both my mind and body just couldn't continue, and I felt defeated. Let's just say my father was speechless. The last story is from this year after my senior night basketball game. I teared up a little but composed myself when the team had our private senior night before the game. When I got home, however, it hit me that this is my last year, not only playing basketball, but playing and spending all this time with such amazing people. I started crying, thinking about how quickly something that has made such a big impact in my life has gone. This all being said, I shared these stories today because I'm a firm believer that there is always a good in every situation, or every seemingly bad situation. Sure, I got turned down my freshman year, but I learned a great lesson about self-worth and not caring about what other people think. And yes, I broke down and scared my dad on the track. But I now know that I shouldn't be so hard on myself and need to give myself a break when my body and mind is obviously telling me to do so. And lastly, I am sad the winter season is coming to an end, but I realized that I couldn't have asked for a better team and coach to play my last season with. You all have really made me cherish every moment I have left here. So thank you for that. And thank you to Coach Foy for believing in us and getting us to where we are now. While we are on thank yous, I want to also thank my family who have supported and comforted me through these times and all my friends that make me smile every day. I wouldn't be the person I am without you all. So know that it's okay to cry and embrace tough situations because at the end of the day, it will be for an important and valuable reason that will help you later in your life. Thank you for listening, and if you liked this talk, once again, my name is Olivia Tompkins, but if you didn't like this talk, my name is actually Nikita Prabhu. <laughs>